All right, so this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading, April 20, uh, April 20th to April 26th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And uh, as well, if you are interested in to start uh, reading tarot cards, I'm offering a, a six weeks um, live tarot classes, online live tarot classes, uh, in which you're going to learn how to read the major arcana in all of their forms and uh, how to sort a or how, how to set up a readings only with them. So that being said, moving to the spread straight away now, the first card, which represents the very topic of your week, Pisces, is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. Moving with the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic here, that is to be the Wheel of Fortune. Afterwards, uh, we have the Justice, which stands as the challenges that you have to overcome. Followed by the uh, Moon card, that stands for the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy for throughout the month. Then it is the impression that you are leaving into the people around that will be the uh, Queen of Swords. And the last one, which stands for the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, we have the King of Cups. So uh, this week, it will be from a big importance because there will be many, many chances that you can make use of uh, looking from those two cards. And those chances most likely almost certainly are going to come from the people you know. So it means that the connections you do have are going to be brought into bear. Now with the Wheel of Fortune, <clears throat> it seems that in the majority of the time, whenever somebody needs something, you are to be the guy for it. You are to be the man for it. You know, a, a, a friend of yours uh, needs someone for their business. You are to be the guy or the man. Uh, someone needs someone someone for your private job, same thing. Someone needs to spend time with someone, same thing. So pretty much the Wheel of Fortune points that you are to be in the center of a, a very big dynamic, that everybody needs something and it does look like that you do have it. Either this is going to be a time, um, efforts as well, skills, knowledge, love, uh, interaction, uh, intentions, etc., etc. They are going to look at it in you. And uh, that itself is going to provoke the situation here, which is the Three of Pentacles. And that situation is to be a situation of an ocean of opportunities. And uh, the best thing about this ocean of opportunities is that you are to develop through your, uh, through your growth. Um, how, to, how can I? Not develop, but supported through your growth. Well, what I was trying to say is you are to be supported through a development. In other words, people are going to give you chances. Okay, People are going to give you uh, openings. Not people and also situations, but in generally, you know, say the universe is going to give you a, a chances for you to grow career, relationship wise, um, in, in friendship circles as well, as well and etc, etc. But all happens through a uh, cooperations with a people from which you know the the the, the circumstances of uh, those um, those openings are going to come about. Uh, now that doesn't come without a bit of a negative impact as well. First of all, these people are going to have certain criteria that you have to match with. So you do have what it takes. You just need you need to match it appropriately to, appropriately to their criteria, which itself is going to lead to some criticism that you're going to have to endure for throughout uh, this particular week. And you simply need to swallow it and make a note of it, take it as a constructive criticism so you can take a part of the endeavor, which could be, like I said, new project, new relationship, new job or just a, uh, you know, a, a continuous uh, improvement into current relationship, current job, etc., etc. Also, uh, the Tree of Pentacles points that there are to be quite a lot of a uh, very, how do you say it, profitable or productive, productive a conversations, which are going to lead to again a a lot of uh, opportunities for uh, unfoldment. Again, project, relationship, uh, uh, career, relationships, etc. So uh, my point here is that 
say you are on a knife knife's edge with uh, your uh, wife or with your husband uh, this week will be a week where you will have the um, the core there to sit on the table of negotiations and to pretty much support each other through development, resolving the issue that stands in between you two. So what will be then the, the challenge that you will have to overcome? That is to be the challenge of the justice card. And the justice... Um, how do I structure it here? Well, first of all, the justice points that um, the righteousness of the situations, it sits in the middle. What I mean that as much as you are right about your standpoint, just as much the other side of the matter is right for their standpoint as well. And all that it's important here, or all that matters at the end, it is can you meet in the middle? Like I gave you the example with the, the problems into relationship, you have your, um, you do have your standpoint, your wife or your husband has their standpoint, that's great, you know, you are different individuals, can you meet in the middle, it is, uh, it is the question and that is to be the challenge here with the justice card, to find a balance. Another thing is that justice is going to be served one way or another and under justice served it doesn't mean that it will be just in your name or it's going to be justified in your name. Mm, you can go through a law case example but uh, and when the justice takes place the, uh, the adjudication at the end is going to be just but it doesn't mean that it will be in your favor just so you know. And lastly, which is what is going to be another challenge for you is to have a discernment which follows which or what comes next after <coughs> successful closure of a current undertaking. And you have to be rather objective. What is the next thing that requires your immediate attention, either into your career or either into your relationship, instead of leaning into things that you are finding more pleasant and exhilarating to perform under and neglect those that requires more immediate attention. Uh, next one that we do have, it is the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the gift and the blessing of the moon card. So um, <clears throat> pretty much here the moon card points that uh, there is nothing that you can do wrong throughout the week. Okay, Eventually at the end of the day you're going to end up exactly where you're supposed to end up. In, uh, in either career-wise or in either relationship-wise. <coughs> the moon here points that there are circumstances which are beyond anybody's reach. They are just forming around, okay? And ultimately, they are going to lead you in the right destination, regardless what you do throughout this week. However, uh, the endeavors throughout the week should not be taken lightly because they can eat because they, they can severely make your path and your road easier than it can be and harder than it should be if you neglect them so to me this week it is the week where you do forge alliances where you do uh, attract sides you know and where you gather resources for the journey that is yet to come for you. And the moon here as a gift and blessing points that whenever you are feeling insecure at, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, okay, that is exactly the place where you can start building and forging your foundation, your resources, your alliances, uh, and in generally you can get the support you need so it can be supported through your development moving on uh, moving on forward into the future and in a very um, superficial meaning or in a superficial way of the moon card it is that whatever secrecy there is out or kind of like whatever um, information that is hidden for you is out there is going to be revealed at the end of the day so the truth is going to come to light at the end of the day so you can um, you can be rest assured that you are not going to be left deceived by anybody that stands around you and the next one here it is uh, what kind of impression people have into you i know oh my with the uh, queen of swords people are going to be scared of you uh, why because they're going to see a really 
force to be reckoned with because the queen of uh, swords it is a, a personality that has or have been able to learn extraordinary amounts of knowledge through a very difficult and poignant experience from the past meaning that you went through a lot okay and now that's um that difficult experience you do have is going to allow you to push your things through. And uh, uh, simply people seeing you into that state are not going to mess with you around. Not at all. As a matter of fact, you can expect that people are going to come for comes for counseling. People are going to come from help for help as well. And people are going to co come for a guidance also, seeing that you are very emancipated, seeing that you are very forewarned as well, seeing that you can... Um, accurately identify what could go wrong, where it could go wrong, and what you can do in order to stabilize, and above everything else, what you can do to push your things through. So uh, just to cumulatively define that, it's people who are going to see you capable, okay? Capable to do what you are after, and that's why you are to get the support, because, hey, everybody loves the strong, right? Everybody wants to be on the side of the strong and people will see you very very strong and finally at the end what we do have it is the king of cups that is the guidance so um it's a pretty sound one pretty much it points you that you should not show um emotions of weakness as a matter of fact any kind of emotions right now because they it seems like they are going to be taken as a weakness especially uh, giving an example career there you have to be with a poker face stone cold and just do what you're supposed to do without giving an impression that you uh, lack experience without giving an impression that you are emotionally attached to it and etc etc because um, in a, such a strong standpoint that you do have definitely you're going to accumulate some ill wishing people around another thing about the king of cups it is also concerning decision making which means that whenever you um you have a choice to make the choice needs to be based and found on professionalism and not on an emotional expression okay so, uh, to give you an example uh, a part of your team person that you love so much but they worth nothing in terms of a project performance you gotta get rid of them no matter that you love them you gotta get rid of them that is what the king of cups kind of advises you and uh, finally, it's about help. Like I said, you are to be seek for counsel, for counseling. You are going to be seek for help. And there is no need to turn off someone that requires your help because at, in the future, you are also going to need their help. And at that point, it will be a, a crucial moment that the help is going to save the day. So it's like an exchange of a favors. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly general tower reading, April 20th to April 26th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. Once again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase and schedule such. And also, if you are interested in to start reading tarot cards, I'm offering an online six weeks live tarot class in which uh, I will teach you how to use major arcana, how to connect them with career and relationship topics, and uh, how to read them in a dedicated spread that it is a major arcana only friendly. Hopefully you're going to stay safe now and uh, see you next time. Until then, bye.